Hello everybody and welcome. Uh, hello everybody and welcome to my Let's Play Indie Games channel here on YouTube. My name is Juan Enrique and I bid thee welcome. Uh, welcome to a DCS World 1.5 video. But it's not about the game per se, it's more on how to make it work. <laughs> and speaking of the devil, there we see people actually starting the game as I speak. So yes, on the 1st of October 2015, the game has been released in open beta and you can download it from the website or you can download it from Steam. It is, however, on Steam a little bit trickier to install and get running if you don't know how. Of course, for those veterans of you who know exactly what to do, it's of course not difficult. But for those of you who do not know, it might be tricky and maybe a little bit frustrating. So. Fear not, my friends, here is why I'm here. This is why I'm here and I'm going to explain to you today how to install it. My poor friend here, I think, is having <laughs> technical difficulties, which I'm going to uh, explain to him in a second on how to install it properly. So you go to your DCS world and your library, of course, and then you right click on it and go to properties. Here, a wonderful window will open up here with lots of things up here and there's one that says betas all right and here for those of you who don't know what this is you can either choose to none you know not be part of the beta program or if you have a non 64 bit uh windows system or whatever you can here choose to install a version that will allow you to play dcs world on a 32 bit system all right but of course then there is the open beta public beta versions option so you want to click that and immediately after clicking that a option here a thing a blue thing will appear uh download queued or whatever and it's immediately going to start a download if you do not have a download running already so it's going to start downloading and it's going to download approximately two gigabytes of the uh extra open beta part of dcs world all right so once it's done once it's installed you click on this and this fuck comes up. Error creating process. So you're like, ah, what? Fear not, my friends. Do not lose hope just yet. Click on the DCS world again with the right mouse button again. Go to properties. And here on local files, you go to browse local files. Click. And the uh, um, directory uh, should open of DCS world should open. Of course, you can choose to go to your hard drive, program files, Steam, Steam apps, common and DCS world manually by clicking yourself but why if you can go there sh with a shortcut and in here there's a um, directory called bin and you click on that double click and there right in the beginning there is a file called dcs.exe exe or whatever <laughs> so i like to go to properties here by right clicking the file and going to compatibility and disabling this by enabling this and um, enabling this by enabling this. So you click on apply or okay, whichever suits you more. And that's it. That's it. It's, that should make it work. Do not click it here. Do not start the game over Steam, but rather, like I said one more time here, properties, local files, uh, browse local files, bin, DCS world, double click that bitch, and the game should start right up, all right? So I've included a short clip of me flying the KA-50 in my first attempt in my Spanish Let's Play, to be honest. I am flying with the keyboard and mouse, which is, of course, easier said than done. This is my first time ever flying with the keyboard and probably my last time as well. And I'm here performing something like a downward spiral. I wanted it to be a very smooth spiral. However, the landing wasn't as smooth as I'd hoped. It was successful. Nothing happened. Nothing was damaged, but it was kind of rough. And I've set the time to 6.30 in the morning as I wanted to see the different lighting effects and different lighting settings and everything. I've added a few clouds. I've added fog because I wanted to see how the game performs now. And the overall thing I could say, it loads faster and it runs faster. It has an every now every now and then it has a hiccup, as I call them, a stutterer frame frame drop, but nothing to be complaining about because it's still in open beta. Uh, other than that, it's kind of a beautiful game. And before I leave, I would also like to remind you people, for those of you who don't know yet, you can win stuff on my video gaming channel. Yes, on Steam, you can win lots of video games. Here you see a list of video games that still have not been claimed by nobody. 
And if we go here to the filter system and do DCS, you see that I still have three F-15s, two A-10s, and two Black Sharks to gift to lucky winners. And uh, if you're wondering, oh, darn, what do I have to do to win one of those? Well, if you like my videos, of course, you know, if you like them, go ahead and like them. If you don't like them, don't like them. <laughs> but if you like my videos, if you comment on my videos, if you, you know, if you're active in my channel, if you comment, and of course, especially if you share my videos, okay, your chances rise in terms of being able to win some puppy of these. All right, you can win one of these and, um, you know, just post a comment in the comment section saying, hey, I really like game XX, all right? I really like the game Duke Nukem 3D or Monaco or Blockland or Dungeon Defenders. I'd really like it. And I've shared your video 500,000 times on different posts and different Facebook pages and forums. So I think I qualify. And indeed, something like that would actually qualify you to win. So if I see your activity, if I see you sharing a lot of videos, you can actually win something here absolutely for free. All I ask in return is a little screenshot of the winning notification message that you get in Steam when I send you a gift. And that is all. That's all you have to do. Just share my videos, like, comment, and that's it. All right. So get to it. Start start uh, liking, start sharing my videos. And uh, yes, with these words, people, hit that like button if you like my video. Share my videos if you want to win some video games. Leave a comment in the comment section if you have something to say. And until next time, people. Until next time.